It's me, Christina, and you're back to Christina first. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. It's been a while, but here I am. I don't know if you get home, but I got some sniffles. It's cold season, and I've literally do, 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 shut down. Don't ask me how I have so much energy. Maybe it's because I've been sleeping all day. But I've got my cold and flu here. My sniffles with anchor. It reminds me of you. Have we been? It is the second of December. Happy new month. Wow. 12 out of... Oh my god, my nose. 12 out of 12. Like a joke, we've made it to the end of the year. What a year it has been. And I just thought, girl, you've got to pick up. Pick up your phone right now. I've got a plate of uh, pepper, chicken, buffalo to spice up my nose and some rice and fries. And I just thought, whilst I was watching um, I Am Chelsea Janae, she's just at 100K and I've seen her work ethic this whole year and it has been phenomenal i know i've taken a bit of a break um oh, i'm so sorry my nose hurts hold on one second oh sorry about that i know i took a bit of break because i've got my acting most <laughs> myself i have my show at the moment so balancing everything has been something but irregardless this is this is what I love to do. So, I am. I've got my iPad next to me. I better take. I'm really sorry about this. This is what happens when you're ill. But we prevail. I am editing at the moment. I am literally going to try and push out as much content as I possibly can before the year ends. Because I've got so much that is like. I've got like such a. Bone of me. I'm going to try to say this as quickly as I can, eat my food, and then I'll come back. But I've got such a backlog, I'm trying to get it out as quickly as possible. And I'm going to start it with, so today is Saturday the 2nd, so I'm going to try and make sure that the first video is tomorrow on Sunday. And then I'm going to try my best to push everything out so that we can get... Bless myself, I'm going now. But it's nice to see y'all. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should just rested yeah yeah i'll be back bye bye hi it is sunday and i am feeling a bit better than i did yesterday i've had some cold and flu tablets i've got my sniffle sniffle that you would have seen yesterday that made me sneeze so much i had to stop filming and um yeah so i've got some tools I'm making a lazy roast dinner. I should say lazy roast dinner. It's a roast dinner because I'm still putting effort into it. But I'll show you what we have ahead. Decided to treat myself to some Sauvignon Blanc. We're cooking up. Um, I think I have lemon. Yes, I do have lemon. So I'm doing a sort of like um a Cajun, a lemon Cajun roasted chicken thighs with uh honey roasted carrots with uh broccolis and runner beans on the side with mac and cheese roast potato yorkshire pudding stuffing mm, mm, mm. it's gonna it's gonna look good it's gonna look good but i just thought that i would introduce myself for sunday because i just realized technically it's a weekly vlog but this is my first vlogmas week i'm gonna be doing it as weekly vlogs because that's the best way that i can really do it you know what i mean um yeah so we're gonna do vlogmas weeks just so that i can be able to stay on top of it whilst also editing all the other videos that are on a backlog and make sure that i provide amazing content as always i hope y'all ain't miss me too much and then of course got some gravy good old bistro right let me show you the spread Rice potatoes, mac and cheese, but I will be adding extra bits and bobs. There's some carrots, the 
chicken thighs, Yorkshire pudding, sage and onion stuffing. We've got some broccoli, mixed vegetables, and runner beans, and the Sauvignon Blanc. And of course, the gravy. Let's get into it. Wash the carrots, so I'm gonna chop it up in a bit. But first, I'm going to season the chicken thighs so I can head it through to the air fryer. Chicken thigh at the ready. Let me count how many there is. So I've got thyme, ground black pepper, chili powder, garlic and coriander, smoked paprika, and then we've got the black and Cajun seasoning. And then we've got some Maggie Cube, which is like a chicken stock, but it's really good. And then I'm gonna get some oil as well. So let's get that open up, shall we? So there's, oh, there's quite a few chicken thighs here, okay. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wow, okay, so what I'm gonna do, cause it's just a roast for myself, I think I'm just going to get this nice juicy bit, another piece, and uh, yeah, three, why not? Three nice chicken five pieces i'm gonna give it a nice little wash just a nice little rinse through um and then i've still got four left so what i'll do is i'll wrap that up and i'll put that in my freezer so i can use for another time see look at that beats a takeaway that i could have done all right one second so i've just given it a nice little rinse with some apple cider vinegar and some water just to get any impurities out i know there's always a big debate of whether you should wash chicken or not it's up to you it's how you've been raised whoever taught you how to cook do that way or if you discover a new way do that way i'm just here to show you how i do it but that doesn't mean you have to do it how i do it but one thing i will definitely advise to make sure that the flavor goes inside your chicken is sear your chicken all you need to do, searing means just to make a small cut. Now this small cut is just to ensure, my knife is not sharp, that's why it looks like I'm doing a deep cut, but I can assure you I'm not. You just need a small cut, so then that way that the flavor that you're seasoning the chicken with not only goes to the top of the skin, but it actually goes into the chicken. So when you're eating it, it's actually quite flavorsome. Yeah, just like that. Just a nice little cut that goes through the chicken skin and the meaty part of the chicken. Always do it on the side that's more meatier. So I'm gonna start my marinating with some olive oil, chili powder, because we want it to be nice and flavorsome and it also adds the color. A bit more ground black pepper smoked paprika not only is it to provide it the smoky taste but it's also for the color i like my chicken to be nice and golden orangey you know so the thyme adding extra flavor garlic and coriander because if you're not cooking with garlic then i really don't know what you're doing garlic is not only so beneficial for your insides and so much amazing properties like your skin and you know with your um your immune system but it just makes your food taste good and why wouldn't you want to make your food taste nice without garlic i mean if you like garlic bread then you know what's up in this cajun season mix there's salt paprika chili powder onion powder garlic powder black pepper cumin chili pe pepper thyme oregano and white pepper so i already have a few of the things that i've already got so i'm gonna doing it quite <laughs> who hasn't been in the camera for a while yeah so right, i need to get back into my body memory of speaking in front of the camera as clearly and directly as possible <laughs> so some of the ingredients that i've already put inside is in there but the things that i don't have is the onion powder the white pepper um i do have oregano in there but if there is some already then why not so i'm not gonna put that much just a little bit but it's really gonna add to the flavorings. So I cannot wait. So now, once you do that, so you can see how it looks from the inside, I am now just gonna give it a nice little massage, you know? 
I'm gonna massage all the seasoning and the oil. The oil helps with the seasoning, although you can always just use water. That does help. I just feel like oil helps crisp up the skin. You can also use this recipe for like your Christmas dinner. This is me just testing. Uh, I mean, always have a roast, but I guess a Sunday, I guess a Christmas dinner is like a, a fancier version of a roast, right? so yeah speaking of comment down below what your plans are for christmas so you're gonna be spending it with family you're gonna spend it with friends you're gonna spend it by yourself let me know in the comments and if you get this far in the video put a nice little tree in the comments okay so this is nice and marinated. Normally, I'd let it sit down for a while, but I'm hungry and I want to hurry up the process. So I'm going to wash my hands and then we're going to put it inside the air fryer. Although I can actually get the air fryer now. I'm putting it. Okay. Um, yeah. I normally have some parchment paper. Let me get the parchment paper. So I preheated the oven. Um, so I can put some of the stuff there already. There's our parchment paper. I'm going to put that there. And then I'm going to put the chicken inside on 200 degrees for about 20 minutes. That should be just enough time for it to be inside. But I will give it a nice little check-in about 15 minutes in. So flip it over and then add an extra 10 minute. So work out as basically being about 15 on each side yeah roughly 15 on each side yeah so about half an hour so there it is inside with the parchment i'm gonna pop it in now chicken done so let us Get the mac and cheese and what else do i need to roast ah yorkshire pudding no 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 oh should i put the roast in the i'll leave the yorkshire pudding last and i put that inside the air fryer after the chicken so what i will do is i'll put the roast in the oven how long does it need to be in there or yeah but how long Oh, all right. Maybe we'll leave this for the air fryer. I feel like the air fryer will give it a nice little cook very easily. Okay, so let's get the mac and cheese. Look, I will say it now. If you've watched my previous vlogmas from last year, I will never cheat. <sighs> I'd never cheat on mac and cheese, but I've been ill and I um 30 to 35 minutes. That's great. I've been ill this weekend and i just wanted something quick and easy well i say quick and easy but am i still not going to accessorize it yeah so um sometimes in life work smarter not harder and that is mm, a fine way of me showing it right now but i'm not just going to have it as it is i'm going to customize it of course because you need to Now, customization time. Let's see, I think there is some cheese. Of course, there's some cheese, and I might actually add some spicy chorizo. Yeah. Let's add some spicy chorizo in the mix just to add extra flavorings and extra niceness smoked paprika for the color and of course the smokiness um black pepper we always need a little bit of spice um i'm gonna add i've got some mature cheddar here I'm going to add that into the mix as well. Rather than grating it in, I'm going to cut up small pieces 
and distribute it and then when it's hit the 20 minute marker i'm going to add some more cheese as well just to give it that nice crispy goldenness cross i talk like um i'm a chef i'm not i just love food and i'm a foodie and i love cooking and i love uh, eating and uh, this is how much i love it let me get a fork and mix everything together I feel like I should probably put the, so we're just gonna mix it up inside. Oh, the cream the sauce here is very delicious. I can tell that once it mixes in with the extra cheese I've added in, and the mac and the chorizo, it's gonna be very flavorsome. You should try that. Instead of adding bacon, try add chorizo in your, mac and cheese and also if you want to also do a lazy roast dinner then by all means do it although i think i should take off the word lazy because this is not lazy at all this is still con time consuming and also a lot of love still being given to this so i guess um easy and easier <laughs> easier okay i'm going to add it in now and then i think i'm i'm going to add the roast potato because i think it's the same amount of time it says about 30 to 35 minutes and the roast potato is roughly about 35 minutes so yeah we're gonna put it at the same time i've been preheating the oven so come with me so i've got a container for me to put the roast potatoes but i'm just putting a layer of olive oil so that I can cook in that. I should be, I probably should have preheated that. We've got the triple cooked roast by McCain's. You can always trust the McCain's when it comes to having a good quality dinner. I'll just put a few rice potatoes inside. I know that this is going to be very, very tasty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think that's about enough. Yeah, I think that's about enough. That's about enough. All right. So let's put the mac and cheese and the roasties inside. So I've just put that in there. We'll resume back in about half an hour. I'll check in on it in about 20 minutes time, same time as the chicken. So let's continue on with the rest. It's been about 20 minutes already and as you can see, it's cooking up real nice. So we're gonna give it a nice little flip. Gonna put that in for another 20 minutes. Hello, we're back again, and now it's time for the stuffing. I'm not gonna use the whole of it. I'm just calculating. Oh, a large knob of butter, yeah. I will be doing that. Let me just open it strategically so that I can keep some for next time. Oh God. Okay, uh, yeah, this should be enough. Yeah, I think that should be just enough amount. So I'm gonna add, I know this is sage and onion, I'm gonna add some garlic and coriander. And then, um, oh, large knob of butter. That's what they said. Let's add some clove. Yeah. 
Yep. Make it nice and extra yummy. And then I'm gonna add some boiling water. All the flavors are really coming together. Um, let me add some boiling water. Right, so I'm just waiting for the water to boil so I can add to the stuffings. I've got the carrots here. Oh, I've realized I forgot to put Maggie cubes. Do you know what? There was enough, um, there was enough salt content with the seasoning I put, so it just worked out for the best. I'm just gonna cut up these carrots so that we can chop them up and make some honey roasted carrots. My friend actually taught me this recipe and it's so delicious I remember we had a roast at house one time I cooked the mac and cheese but it, I didn't bake it so it was just the um the like the cooked version before it hits the before it hits the uh, what's it called the oven but it was so nice and tasty and creamy yeah I guess at that point it's just really a it's cheesy pasta because what does make macaroni and cheese because it has to be baked but then there's oven baked ones and then there's just your regular regular mac and cheese that's just the, the boiled pasta with the cheesy stalks and extra cheese isn't it i don't know what shapes i'm cutting these in but All I know is they're going to taste good, so. Ooh. I don't know if I'm trying to cut it like chips. I should have just bought the carrot batons, but I was like, what a waste. Just get the carrots, they're like 50p. And that way, you've got plenty more for another day. <laughs> These are the shapes that they're cutting in so far. I think we're trying to get more like this. Should just do it how the Americans do it with their sweet potato yams, and they just like do it with butter and brown sugar. It does it very good that way. Maybe I should try it. Make a whole meat <coughs> instead of it being honey or roasted carrots. It should just be. Um, it should just be brown sugar brown sugar roasted carrots oh these are gonna be so nice with everything else and it's gonna make me feel so nice when I sit down and eat it as well okay we're nearly done with these carrots. Look how cute this one is. Isn't it so sweet? Don't forget to cut the tops. Okay. Please don't try this at home. Cut it normally. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm trying to cut it the other way. And it's, um, Proving to be a little bit tough. And then I'm gonna be eating this roast dinner and watch a nice Christmas, Christmas film to get me in the spirit. I think I've gotten into the spirit thanks to watching quite a few Christmas movies. I've got a whole list going on. I've got Operation Christmas, Operation Christmas, and then I've got the Princess Switch. And then I've got, um, that's the one with Vanessa Hudgens in. And then um, the Noel Diary, there's that as well. Um, there's something else, there's something else. But yeah, 
These are my carrots. I'm gonna cut this up and then we're gonna get to the vegetables. Look at that, tasty, tasty. Look at that roast potato. Look at that mac and cheese. I just had to try it, you know? Okay, I haven't done the potato, the, sorry, the vegetables yet, but this will take me like two seconds. I'm gonna do it now. The stuffing and the roasties are cooking up. So the chicken is done, but I'm gonna show you a nice little trick of mine, yeah? So this is the air fryer that I cook the chicken with, and I'm gonna get the chicken juices, collect all that chicken juice, because I'm gonna make the gravy with it. Okay, that's a lot of chicken juices. Mm. That's quite a bit, but the chicken does look real nice and tasty. Okay, now that the chicken is done, I'm going to add my gravy. We're basically near the end. I'm going to add just a little bit. a lot of gravy so I'm gonna add some water so that we can get the gravy going so here we've got the gravy it's not as thick as I want it but I'm just going to keep mixing it and we should see it thicken up because I have put quite a lot of gravy granules but I don't know if you can see it but it is thickening up Stay tuned. Stuffing is done. Gravy. It's time to play up. Hi. Right. Everything is done apart from my sweet roasted carrots and it's starting to annoy me. I literally just took a little bite of it and it's just so... My brown sugar roasted carrots is nearly there and I can't enjoy it so I've decided to get myself a nice glass of coke. Because I can't have the Sauvignon Blanc until I'm sitting down and I'm eating that roll. So when I'm telling you, if you've just seen a B-roll, oh Lord. Oh, that right there. Heavenly. When that brown sugar roasted carrots hit that plate, I might go to sleep. I might just wake up tomorrow morning. Mm, 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 mm. Gosh, I can cook. I don't know why. I don't know how. But boy, can I. Even when it's a quicker version, I can still elbow it down. But whilst we wait, I thought I'd be proactive. And I will do a haul. I've got a haul for y'all. So, TikTok shop has me on a choke hold. So, I'll show you some stuff that I've recently bought from TikTok and ASOS as well. So, first things first, I bought this multi pack NYX um, fat oil. It's a lip oil lip gloss. It is amazing. I've got this in clear and I've also got this in chocolate. Mmm. This is it. This is um, called Status Update. I love this because it's like a Jeep of the Fenty Chocolate Lip Gloss. And it's just gorgeous. 
it literally stays on your lips for a good while and it's nice and it's juicy and it's just everything that you need you know amazing i'm gonna try and see if i can find the clear version can't find the clear one for the meantime but on to the next i've got these anti-blue light it was a three pack i got it in clear black and there's another color um but yeah these are great because sometimes when i'd be hurting i use technical devices all the time so you need to make sure that you protect your eyes so in the meantime i'm just going to keep it on next we have also got from the tiki talk shop i got some of the arabic perfumes now if you are new to my channel you might not know this but i will put an i card of the last maintenance vlog that i did that i bought an arabic ooh, perfume because it's my faves this is the bint haran i've seen this everywhere on tiktok everyone and their mothers and their fathers and their aunties have been talking about this and look at this look at the size of this bottle this is a hundred milliliter the best way for me to describe the scent it is oh the scent of it is like it's sultry but it's sweet and it just lingers on to you and not only did i get the perfume but i also got the oil so when you combine this amazing now this is what i find so fascinating about perfume it can smell different on anyone's body on everyone's like i think it's the pheromones in everyone's own body it makes things smell completely different but this when i put this on my, this and this even though it's the same brand it's the same scent smells completely different on me this smells sweet on me and this also smells sweet but more muskier on me but this on a date night couple couple drops behind your ear on your wrist down your line of your boobs on your collarbone what 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 are you sniffing you up babes sniffing you up do you know what i mean but yeah this and you'll never guess how much i got this for go on yes yeah 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 17.99 for the perfume oil and the perfume can you imagine insane insane now i did also get some made by mitchell because whenever i do a tiktok shock you know i'm gonna do a made by mitchell because it's kind of a given that i have to do a made by mitchell shop as well and they've got that curve case coming out as well need to get that i'll show you that in a second but something else that i got from tiktok because i'm in my gym era at the moment i bought myself the leg braces so that you can do the um the leg exercises on the apparatus so yeah i got myself one because i needed it my best friend told me about this and then i found it on tiktok so i was like oh great so you just put it on your ankle but you connect it with the machine so then you can do like your leg pulls and stuff so that is great and then speaking of the gym and being a gym babe these days there's a lot i haven't been showing y'all but it's a good thing we're doing a weekly vlogmas so you can see me going back to the gym because my show schedule has been so busy that every time i do get time off i just want to unwind because i'm so exhausted but it's no excuse it's a mindset thing i'm heading back into the gym and uh with that i bought these uh, leggings now babe Ooh, these leggings you know the ones that like like hug up your ass yeah this is the one so i've already got a few of these already but i decided to get it in a like khaki green black one so this is the trousers looks pretty cool doesn't it and you can see the roof shape that it does around the bum bum but yeah these are nice i got these in the xl but they're very stretchy as you'll see in a second they're very stretchy and they fit just fantastically they hug up the bum very well so when you're doing your exercise your bum looks good and i was wondering my bum's been looking good these days but, but you can probably see it when i stand up but look look baby look look 
Look, look, I already know I got a big ass. I know. But then with the gym as well and the walking, I know you see the cake. I know you see that cake. And then, let me show you some of them. Please do not judge the state that my makeup bag has become because I had a something broke my made by Mitchell bronzer broke I don't know how I think I accidentally smashed it when I put my bag down I don't know how that has happened but it has but what 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 are we going to do I think I'll clean this before I um I think I'm gonna clean it before I show it to you because it is a bit like whoa I'm gonna be sorting out look look at the mess that's ridiculous um, I'm going to clean this up and then show it to you, but I got myself two new concealers, a skin tint, a foundation, and a bronzer, and a new blush. Let me show you the blush in a second. That roast dinner was impeccable. So now we're back to the TikTok shop haul. I was going to do the ASOS haul, but I've realised, no, nope, we're going to hold on to that. Because the people deserve a fashion video all by itself. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let me carry on with my TikTok shop haul. So I found two out of the three glasses. One of the glasses is somewhere here. I don't know where it is, but it is here. But let me carry on with the makeup because I bought some real nice makeup that was on the Black Friday sale. Insane. Now, remember I showed you all the lip fat oil in status update. This is my main. So I bought this as a bundle. I saw this in Superdrug and I think it was like £7. So this together was £10. So if I bought this individually away from tiktok i wouldn't have been able to save three pounds well not really because if i bought both of these it would have been 14 pounds so i say four pounds it came as a duo and the way that it moisturized my lips is ridiculous this is just the clear one Look how moisturised my lips look. And the best thing about this one is, which is my fave, I don't need to I don't need to line up my lips. I don't. Because this gives me the colour that I need. And then I did this combo with another NYX product that I bought. <laughs> Bear with. We've got some makeup. I bought this as well, which I don't know if you remember. This used to be, I think it's, I mean, it's still in, but I remember there was a period of time where every gal loved some NYX butter gloss. I remember I always wanted it. There's a, I'm going to try and find this picture, but I remember my first ever holiday was a festival holiday in Croatia, Fresh Island. And I remember I did this lip combo. Listen, this lip combo was everything. And ever since that day, I said I was going to get it. But I don't think I ever found what colour it is. And I think this is it. This is the NYX Butter Gloss in Butterscotch. When I tell you, when I put this and then I put this, what? My lips are looking like a chocolate chip cookie that is freshly out of the oven i'm not even kidding you i'm not even messing around with you i'm being so so serious hmm. mm, 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 mm. my lip collection so i got three products for my lips for the next now i said i did get a made by mitchell and these are the two things that i got from made by mitchell i even watched the um interview that he had at uh, the Wumi bella show love her shows so initiative like great journalistic and journalistic approach of interviewing and just so in depth and her warmth and and openness allows the guests that she brings on to be so honest and open and and open themselves up in a way that is so beautiful it's such a safe space that she provides love it gorgeous 
so i got the bronzer i've already got the shader laid but i always feel like shader laid is very close to my own shade but i got the arituation love it it is such a beautiful deep rich com like complexion tone when i put it no word of a lie it matches my hyperpigmentation that's how i know that this is the right color for my my for my bronzer because every time i put it it matches my habit of imitation so i'm like yep this is it i put it on the other day I, like a full face b for a date night i'm gonna put the picture right here honey i look snackalicious i look gorgeous and then i paired it up with this this is the blush um i'm such a fan of the made by mitchell blush and it's not a tiktok brand it's a brand that is doing exceptionally well on tiktok and tiktok's really pushed it up but yeah i wouldn't know this brand if it wasn't for tiktok because i can see visually the girlies of every shade complexion wearing it and looking so good on them um this is a shy boy this let me show you it because this um this color on my skin is beautiful it's it's a pink but it's also not your typical pink like i've got one of these pink ones um sweet cheeks and um cowlick and then there's another one but this has got a nice depth to it i'd almost go as far to say it's like a a deep rose pink it's gorgeous and then look at that blended in beautiful it's like a natural blush it's a it's like a dark skin girl's natural blush beautiful 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 and then i'll show you a swash of the bronzer as you can see the depth and the color and then you can see when it is blended in you can already see the contrast of the colors but how it looks together beautiful so yeah once that is blended in it gives such a beautiful matte but because of the color and how popping it is it still has such a glow and shine of it so it's not completely matte but once it dries it has that matte effect but it still has the shine that you would expect on a a glowy type of product so yeah those are my two new made by mitchell products and then i've got two new brands that i've never tried before but i saw them constantly on my tiktok i've been seeing it and every time i've seen the girlies putting it on it looks good now i will one of the brands came first and then the, the two of the products came first for one brand and then after the other one did so this was the product that came first this is um hmb cosmetics this is the same yeah this is hmb cosmetics gorgeous brand gorgeous 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 now the foundation do not ask me why i got it in a neutral complexion i am a warm undertone i have no idea why i got neutral but nevertheless i got the concealer in the right color the concealer actually is a perfect shade match for myself so when i'd realized that this was a little bit lighter than me i was like okay no worries I have my bronzer, which will be able to give me the warmth, but give me the depth that my face needs. But when I put this concealer on, what? This was a perfect shade match. It brought the color and warmth to my face instantly. Instantly. This, I could really just do a whole face with this and this and put a blush and put a nice lippy and put nice mascara and we can call it a day and i need to find myself actually speaking of that because i just realized i just be putting mascara these days but my eyelashes have been really growing because i just haven't been putting a lot of glue on it i'm keeping it for just like special occasions if i'm being very honest i barely put eyelashes and if i'm gonna put eyelash i'll do a lash extension but special occasions you know 
Christmas is coming around the corner, so it probably will be then. But yeah, this, it's the Luminous Airbrush. Yeah, so this is the um, Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation. Even though it wasn't the complete right shade because of the undertone, the finish that it left on my face was insanely stunning. And then this, the Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer, I looked like a filter in real life. I kid you not. My skin was glistening, glowing. I looked healthy. I looked like I just walked out in DR and that fresh DR sun hit my skin. I'm not kidding. The picture will show it. Insane. So mwah, that's my new foundation and concealer and then there's this new brand that i discovered on tiktok called fine they were both on i mean to be fair i think i got everything on the black friday sale if i'm being honest i'll put down the links underneath the low or i'll just create a tiktok and by the time i create this tiktok you can purchase it from there a girl's gotta get her mission okay let me live Okay, let me get my commission, please. Help a girl out. Let me help you by helping me out, you know? But yeah, so this is the concealer. Love the bottle. I've never seen a product in this shape before, but it is great. And I like the applicator as well. This is a bit darker. Well, I say it's a bit darker, but it's probably just one shade darker than me. But I'm still using it because it looks flawless. I've actually been layering it. I put this one first, then I put my actual shade. So when I get my teary eyes, guess whose eyes have still been looking insane? Mine. That's right. Mine. And then this is the skin tint. I've never tried skin tints before. I know that it's a thing. But this skin tint was a bit perplexing to me, and I'll tell you why. Because it is so lightweight, but yet the coverage it was giving was as though it was a full coverage foundation. And now that messed with my brain because it was giving me drop drops. But when I put it on my face, it was giving me pat pat. Like, like, what? So, yeah. I need to do a get ready with me, which I will film. And it will be a separate video. But these are my TikTok mini shop haul of everything that I got. And, ooh, ciao. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers. Because I got some really good products. But yeah, that is it. I think I'm going to log out for Sunday. And um, I shall see you tomorrow. Tomorrow the plan is getting my nails done and toes done. Um, we're heading to B&B. <laughs> Does it B&B? B&M. We're heading to B&M. And we're getting some stuff to decorate my room for the Christmas festive season. Because this is a weekly vlogmas after all. And I'm hoping to have this video out in a week's time so next week sunday you should have this video so by the time i'm filming this this is a week ago cheers cheers Santa, tell me it's your very bad don't make me fall in love again if you won't be here next year Santa, tell me if he really cares cause i can't give it all away if you won't be here next year feeling christmas all around and trying to play it cool let us hide to focus when well, I see him walking across the room Let us know it's past now But I won't get in the mood I'm fighting every mess I'm told until I know it's true God, that he thinks of Song next Christmas I'm not all alone Boy, Santa, tell me if you're really bad Don't make me fall in love again If you won't be here next year Santa, tell me if you really care
Gift mode. Gift mode. Oh, maybe we can get her a treasure box. You know, she likes those wooden boxes. And yeah, and it can be like for her keys. Because you know, she's always losing her keys. <gasps> I think I managed to get all my audition tapes on time. I'm going to insert so you can see what I was doing. Oh, I took forever. I'd say that took me like just about an hour ridiculous i should have just done it before i left but i went to sleep really late opening up my hair but my hair looks really cool though my hair looks real cool i want to make something to eat because i'm really hungry and i didn't eat dinner i mean breakfast breakfast lunch um i feel like i'm gonna make a sandwich with the roast that i made yesterday yeah like there's this guy that i follow who's like a sandwich king and he's always making sandwiches and it looks so good so i'm going to try and replicate one of his sandwiches by making a roast sandwich and i've got the perfect bread i've got the tiger bread bloomer thick of bread look at that perfect let me make the sandwich and we will receive get my bread my slice right here, peanut, chorizo, pepper, and we're gonna eat it raw. And then I got the roast from last night. Stuff in the bag. Look at that beauty. Mm -mm -mm. And the mac and cheese, and then I put an amp down the sandwich. And I'm gonna put some cheese just to make it extra. And then we got some red seeds. I can see like there's a theme here red, 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 red. Freaking cold, sorry. No cursing. I'm gonna try my best to stop cursing on this damn internet. My bread. I thought I put butter out. Ah, uh, eat. Oh, mayo. Squirt, squirt. Spread it around. Honestly, I always see these videos of when people make sandwiches with like, I think it's a sandwich king. I'm gonna put his Insta up there so you can see. I just love his videos. It's so great. It's just the way that he packs it all up. Sometimes I'm like, no, surely you can't. I think he did the way he did like a whole McDonald's menu. I was like, no, surely you can't. Surely you can't do that. But lo and behold, <laughs> he did it. There is nothing that I love more than raw peppers. I made a sandwich last night when I was um, up opening up this hair. I want to tell you, there is nothing more than I like than some raw peppers. Yeah, that's right. You know what I'm realising? I'm going on holiday in a month's time. And ask me if I feel like I've got anything prepared. No. I mean, this is what happens when you get when you want to get a winter sun, right? Right after Christmas. But this Christmas, I'm going to take a chill. You know why? I'm just going to take a chill. I'm going to get the people that I love's presents. And then I'm going to treat myself to the best thing that I could possibly do, which is alone time. I know that sounds crazy. It's Christmas. Don't you want to be with family? This Christmas, I want to cook for myself make myself a delicious christmas dinner and then watch some real nice movies and um relax all by myself yeah sleep watch movie in solitude i really really want to do that something's urging me to do that this year and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna follow what my gut is telling me to do i've already found an apartment it's an apartment i've actually rented out one time it's a really good apartment and the price is looking absolutely decent for the, the time i need to secure it already but it's because i want to pay it with the wallet because i think i've got some i've got some money on my wallet so that's what i wanted to confirm it that way but i think after this i'm going to secure it yeah baby i'm gonna secure it and i'll do it whilst you're watching um all right cool so we got some rice tea 
cut that up so that it is in so it's in manageable i just don't know how the guy does it he just just packs it up but that's what i'm going to be doing and then i want to put it in my air fryer so it can get toasted up and so that it can be pressed down i want to use my parchment mm. Slap that on right now. It just is giving carb, carb, or carb, 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 and I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. Here's the chicken that I had from yesterday. Let's cut that up so we can get some of the pieces in. Mm -mm -mm. Honestly, this roast yesterday was a macky lurt. Like, <sighs> that's what probably gave me the energy to start doing my hair. Probably because I thought this was gonna wipe me out, but no. Mm. The mac and cheese is on that side, and then I'm gonna add the chorizo slice. It were jalapenos. I don't know how I'm gonna do this. All right, I think that's enough. I need to show you how it looks. I know, I know, not appeasing, but trust the process. Mm, trust the process. Say a little prayer for me. Go away, please. I love you, babe, but go. Go away. I'm gonna try and see if I can press it down. I don't know how I wanna press it down though. Break the cheese. Oh, okay. That was a decent job. I actually did a good job of swashing that down. In the air fire it goes. Sunday roast. In the Sunday. Oh. Yes, in all its glory. During the last time I spoke to you all, I literally felt worse and then felt a little bit better. But yeah, so I'm in now. I'm in the grotto, which is like the waiting room where it's the waiting room before you get to see Santa. It's like the premium. What do you think of my hair? Doesn't it look so cute? I absolutely love it. This is me in my full elf mode. We're meant to be wish keepers, but let's be honest, we're elves. But this is my humble abode for today. I've got my iPad to edit, cough sweets, and my timetable. I was meant to have three people come through, and they didn't. Life is sweet. We love to see it. But yes, I'm very grateful for this opportunity. I'm very grateful for the show. And it's so easy to be in a moment of thinking when you are oh, and what you don't have. But I want to try and focus on all the things that I do have. And the ability for me to be able to purchase medicine at the drop of a hat and be able to um, pay for resources to keep being creative. 
be in a position to fall, to reach to my creativity and play to dreams. There's a lot to be grateful for. Oh, I'm about to sneeze in a minute, but I just thought I'd log in. Hello, don't I look so snuggly and comfortable and warm? I know. So I've got home after a wonderful day. Oh, if you're wondering where this is from, I bought this from ASOS. I know it's a brand. I'll put it in the link in my description. I finally opened my ASOS package. I just couldn't. I just couldn't deal with it. I was like, I need the fluffy bathrobe, and I need it bathrobe robe, and I need it now. And this is the best choice ever. I saw the fluffy, and I was like, this is what I need. And I've just washed my face. And We're back, people. So it would have paused on. I've just washed my face and then it cut. But I've just washed my face with R.I.P. to my LME's Pro Cleansing Balm Rose. To be fair, I've had her for over a year and a bit, so kudos. When people say don't spend stuff on expensive, blah, 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 that has been worth every penny. I think I spent like 30 or 40 pounds on it, and it's lasted me for over a year. And I've definitely used it more than 30, 40 times. So who made back their money? Me. Who's had great skin because of it? Me. Who's going to be buying it again? You know the answer. So yeah. So just to summarize the day. I had to put my fan off. Because I know when I go back on editing. I will hear it. And it will irk my soul. <laughs> so. I have to charge my phone. It's currently charging right now. Oh, I feel so comfortable. Um, First and foremost. Hey. How are you doing today? I hope you've had a great day great afternoon great evening whenever you're watching this um i'm wishing you well i know sometimes it can seem like i'm just talking about me but it's not just about me it's also about you and you logging in right now i appreciate you i respect you i value you i see you just know that you're heard and if you ever want to have a chat with me just comment down below and this is on a reel, not like, uh, like, comment, share. Although you should do that if you want to do that as well. You know, support the gang. But honestly, if you ever just want to have a chat, if you ever just want to check in, if you just want to have a little catch-up, comment down below and we can have a chat. Because this is much as for me as it is for you, you know? And... If you find comfort in somehow in me talking to you and you watching me and my life, I live a, well, I say, I think I live a pretty ordinary life. I do some extraordinary things, but I do live an ordinary life. I go through pain just as much as you. I go through happiness. I experience all types of emotions that we all experience pain, happiness, laughter, joy, confusement, anxiousness, all of the above. And it's okay. It's also okay not to always know how to feel and what to do and where to go, you know? But I just thought I'd check in. And I hope this feels like a FaceTime. And I want my content to feel more like a FaceTime because that's how I feel like when I'm talking to you my people my beautiful people then but yeah today was good uh, I had a great show I was relaxed but interacted with humans I think sometimes finding the thing that you love in your day can really help you practice gratitude and romanticise your life as well and it was just really nice to spend some great quality time with some great friends that I've met in the show. 
I'm really blessed and really happy to have met these people, to be in the show. Um, yeah, went to Wing Wednesday in Brewdog, as you would have seen in the montage. We then went to Café de la Marche, which is a beautiful, quaint place with a gorgeous beer garden. Love a beer garden. Any time of the year, love a good beer garden. Had some Long Island iced teas. Great. Passion fruit mojito. Delicioso. And yeah. And the rest of the week is about to be absolutely fun as well. Um, When does I start recording this? Does I start recording this on Sunday or Monday? Sunday. Because I was making the rest. So yeah. We've got each other until Sunday. I wonder what the week will entail. <laughs> but yeah, it's fun. I've got some noodles, Coke Zero, and a vanilla crown. I'm gonna eat that and then log out. And I shall see you tomorrow or later today. Um, Wednesday going well, realistically, it's Thursday right now. Um, oh, it's Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably tell you why I'm like, ah, it's Thursday. There's nothing in particular happening on Thursday today. It's really a chill day. But I will be going and then shopping after I finish my rehearsals. Because on Friday, I have a date. I have my third date with someone i'm currently talking to don't know why i do this every time i speak about some love interest that i have my i start getting shy and my voice gets lower we'll delve into that tomorrow um and also tomorrow when i come back i don't think i'm gonna go for drinks i say that but i'm not gonna hold my breath um i want to come back home and i want to cook a meal and you know what I really want to do? And you know what we haven't done in a while? Make some, well, it's not even autumn, winter meals. But I would really like to make a freaking apple crumble. And I've got all the ingredients for it. Yeah. So I really, if, when I come back home, after my rehearsals, uh, after my show, sorry. I will make apple crumble for dessert, that is for sure. And then for my, for my dinner, um, we'll figure it out. But let's just throw some options. Comment down below some winter meals for me to try out. That, yeah. Because right now, nothing's coming into my head. Oh, apart from, mm, I've got pie. I can have pie, mash and gravy. Nice. I can have pie, mash and gravy and veggies. Or um, I can have roast potatoes with sausage and veggies. Um, yeah, I just need, I'm going to, I'm going to search. We'll come back and then I'll give you the option. I might put it on my Instagram. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Christinaverse underscore. I'm going to give a suggestion on my Instagram and ask what winter meal I should have tomorrow. But on that note, see y'all later. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. Merry Logging in for Thursday. Snacks. Woo. They've got really cute know. snacks. It says, where's my owl? <laughs> Don't swallow it. Look at us. We look so cute. Okay. Oh gosh, it is so cold. It is ridiculous. There's a match going on. Anytime Tottenham is playing home, it causes the most ridiculous amount of traffic. All the buses stop. And I don't know why I got the bus. I should have just got a train and got the bus. It would have been so much easier. But no, not Ty. 
not I. So now I had to end up just getting a taxi home because it was getting to the point where there were so many people waiting to head towards the area that I live that like people were pushing and stuff. And I said, you know what? I don't need this, I don't. So I ended up getting a taxi, so now I'm my home. And I just wanted to cook a nice meal when I got home. I still will, but we're gonna see what ends up happening, okay? So I will resume when I'm back home with the resources cooking. And then we're gonna have a nice, I'm thinking I might have a solo date night tonight, which will be a separate video. So see you in a bit. Hi. It's currently like somewhere in the middle of the night. I came home a food and I conked out. I woke up, the light was still on, my plate was still next to me and I was like, what time is it? And I looked, it was like two something and I was like, I have quite a few things to do including wash my hair and prepare for tomorrow. I was like, I'm gonna take it as a nap, I'm gonna do the things I need to do and then go back to sleep, wake up grab the train and the bus and everything because I've got an early one tomorrow and then um <sighs> yeah but yeah I'm looking forward to it so I am I've just uh wet my hair and I was look how much, just look it looks so gorgeous and healthy but I just thought I would check in this is me checking in for Friday basically but I just thought that I would check in as I'm having my wash day. It's important to have a good wash day. And I can't believe that I would do this procedure dry. Like, I would really try to brush my hair when it was dry. And it was so painful. Why would I put myself through that immense amount of pain? Yeah. So now, I've been watching quite a few hair wash days. And um, all of them moisturize their scalp with oil and get their hair wet. So that's what I'm doing. The feedback that I've been getting from my hair being out is insane. Like I don't usually always have my hair out, but it's so insane to see oh, how everyone's like, wow, your hair. Because I used to not like having my natural hair out all the time. Unless it's like really short when I'm like, I've just cut it bold or it's like dyed or whatnot. But um, it's quite beautiful right now. And um, no, I didn't find it beautiful because people have been complimenting it. But I've always found that the feedback that I used to get with my hair always did actually make me a little bit insecure sometimes with my hair. Because sometimes I'd have my natural hair out and no one would say anything. But when I'd have my amazing wigs and Eurocentric hairstyles, people would be like, wow, that's so gorgeous. So then it made me have a little bit of a complex when it came to my hair. Like I knew my hair was gorgeous, but it was just like... What? But then, I think also my mindset is very different to when I was quite young. Um, I've been in a lot of mixture of spaces, both white spaces and spaces that have people of colour. And I have come to notice that sometimes, um, when I was younger, <coughs> as everyone is, I think, growing up, black in the uk there's a very especially when you've grown up in areas that is predominantly white there sometimes can be a complex of always wanting to be accepted because you stick out so much like a sore thumb and nothing really represents your blackness like your hair and your hairstyles so i think i always had a journey with my hair and and how i i saw it and how i took care of it and such but I feel like as I'm, I feel like as I'm getting older, I'm having a better one. So uh, that's me checking in. I'm gonna carry on because I'm on a tight time schedule here. Uh, but I just thought I'd show you what I'm doing, and then I'll probably log in in the morning when I'm heading in to the theatre. And I'll actually show you me getting ready my procedure in the morning. I might also do a TikTok. We'll see. 
gorgeous. Bees are so delicious. Hello, hi. So, today is Sunday. No, today is Saturday. And I'll be ending the vlog here. But I thought, what a better backdrop than my current workplace at Wishmas which is where it's a fantastical Christmas adventure and what's more Christmassy than that so welcome to Wishmas I thought I was about to get some snow there oh snow okay let's get ready I'm gonna go for a drink and then we're gonna end it here happy Christmas